Alrighty, hello, internet. Wolfman Doom Gaming here, and welcome to Resident Evil Village. Do you think it's going to go over? I know I am. I didn't finish the original Resident Evil remake. I do want to play the original, original, but um, I know like mo now, like most of the world has been following um, Resident Evil Village's release for multiple reasons. Um, hey, Sarah. Um, but yeah, well, obviously we needed a new game to play. First of all, that was the biggest thing. We I just was like, okay, what do I do? And the second thing was I saw this in the store and I was like, hey, you know what? Let's try this. Uh, luckily there is a backlog. So I never, I never played RE7, like ever. I, I meant to, and I just never got to it. Um, but uh, Resident Evil Village does tie into RE7, which I didn't know, I thought it was, well, I knew it, it contained the protagonist from the first game, but I didn't know that it was a direct follow-up. I thought it was just like, oh, it's the same guy because he went through this whole thing by himself and all the characters in the, the original games have kind of wandered off into the to the universe and never be heard from again. Now, I, I know about RE7, I know it fairly well as if I played it. Um, I, I watched a lot of uh, the YouTubers play it. I watched uh, Markiplier play it. I think it was the only one I really watched play it. Uh, I watched a little bit of uh, Game Grumps play it. But, uh, I know it enough to be like, oh, okay, I know what this is. I know what this does. So I feel like I played it myself. Um, but yeah, if we do good in this, I will go backwards and play RE7. I'm weird. All right, that's all. I'm weird. But anyway, like I said, there is a recap. Next thing is, I don't know how loud it is. So we'll have to watch the recap and adjust the volume at the same time. Now, let's get on with this. <sighs> okay. Where to start? My name? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife who disappeared i got an email from her she told me to come get her and of course that's how i ended up in the middle of nowhere louisiana i found mia being held captive in a dark basement she wasn't thinking right she attacked me like some kind of wild animal Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. The people who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat me as symptoms with a serum. Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddies showed up and saved the both of us. Is that enough? I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. That's the whole thing, pretty much. It's all over now. Does it sound loud enough, by the way? Does it sound good? Well, did that sound good? Around 30, 30 decibels, usually where I put it, 30 is usually the pretty good middle point. It's not too loud, not too quiet. Well, 
Look at you, Sarah. You're the only one here. All right, as I say, you're the only one here watching me right now. You better tell me what's going on. All right. So that's the, the story behind RU7. RU7 say he was looking for his girlfriend who was um, working to watch Evelyn. Um, she went missing. Ethan went to look for her. Got trapped in his house. Bullshit ensued. He ends up fighting his way through it. Saving his girlfriend. Saving himself and escaping. Now we're playing the new game. Let me continue as Ethan Winters. I know a little more because I watched uh, Jack's Hunter guy play for a couple of minutes. So I know a little bit more than you guys do, but other than that, I don't know much past it. So it's going to be interesting. I am not good at survival horror games who've been over this, but I feel like the newer ones have um, not been easier, but they've understood the games were a little too challenging back then, and they're trying to, like, you know, back, like I said, back then games were hard because they, they had to be, because it made a, a, a short game feel longer and more memorable when you're like, oh man, did you fight that giant snake? Like, oh yeah, yeah, did you, did you uh, see the end boss? Like, oh yeah, yeah, I didn't get past that part yet, you know, and yeah, you, you share your, your stories on, 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 and on the school grounds. And nowadays with the internet, it's like you don't, it's not needed as much. They know people are recording the stuff or streaming it. Well, I'll go standard. I ain't out with my pansy. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind.
because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember. I can't blame her. All right, now in case you're curious, Did you say something? nothing. I'll put oh, it no. down. Um, I'm not playing on the, on the newer consoles. I do not own them yet. One, because they're impossible to find, and two, because they're impossible to find. Um, I am playing this on my Xbox One. Still looks really dang good. Before we continue on, though, I'm gonna put these subtitles on. If I can find them. Display. No audio. No. Ah. And this still looks really crazy good. And compared to what I've seen for the uh, the newer the newer console, it's pretty much on par, which is kind of dumb. But you know, I'm sure there's some slight differences. You know, ray tracing, higher shadows, blah 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 blah. You know, it's just stupid stuff. It's probably you know, it looks better on the PS5 and, you know. Now, like RU7, this game does take place in first person, so you used to seeing it like this. I never played RU7, like I said, but I have uh, seen it a lot. She's going to grow beautiful. That's not the same baby. That's an actual baby right there in that picture. That is crazy looking now. Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. What's a mirror covered for? A little weird. Probably uh, when you beat the game, it's probably a hidden item in there. This game does have high replayability. Yeah, 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 shut up. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Fucking brat, shut up. I'd be a great father. No, I wouldn't be that mean. And toilet we go. Bloop. Ah, Prime of Vampire, no reflection. All right. Oh, goodbye, baby. Da, da, da. It is dark in this house. I know it's like, you know, I don't know. For me, I don't like dark houses. Like, personally, I'd rather the houses lit up. Mainly because I'm paranoid. That's a lot of power and freezer electric bill and all that, but I don't know. I felt like a little, like a little, like a like a little tiny room, you know, in a corner, or like a almost there, honey. Like a uh, a view of the outside, you know, like something like that. And yeah, I want it dark. Go out there and have a drink and relax, you know. Alright. That mirror is covered up too. Wonder why. But will tomorrow come? That's, I know it's coming, unfortunately. I know it's going to happen. Me and I had another fight. Actually, I mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. We finally settled down our new life in Europe and can finally bring up Rose properly. But 
I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mina doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend like it didn't happen? Do we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without hanging over our heads? We owe her that much at least. I know Mina doesn't know, doesn't know this too. You want him having exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. That is all. Old ass laptop. I think it's nasty looking too. God. There's like shoe prints on it. Hey, I take it easy. Okay. Name Rosemary Winters. Date of birth 2 8 2020. Height 62.3 centimeters. 24.53 inches. Weighing 66.5. 57 kilograms or 14.48 pounds. Screening, hearing, vision, touch, reflex, reflex test. All results show no issues. Patient is in good health. Other notes. Results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by the BSAA. The BSAA is what Chris works for. It was also mentioned, I think, in um, five, I think. They're, they're the, the biohazard team is trying to fight against Umbrella and things like this. Rose is fine. Well, hi there, little Rose. <laughs> right. Look at this photograph. <laughs> Every time I see it makes me laugh. Pretty neat little glimpse into their lives. I wish it could stay like this forever. I'm too. Look at the actual baby. You said that one in the corner actually is an actual baby. And the one to the left there on the bottom, I think it's an actual baby too. Alright. Time for bed. Good surveillance. Have you? It's not paranoia. They're really out to get you. Kendo. Ah, so Kendo is a reference back to RE2. I know Resident Evil. I know it by the back of my dang hand. I just don't. I haven't played most games, but I do know a lot about them. Can't keep your mother waiting. She's scary when she's angry. Right? I, I've, I've played Resident Evil since the first one. I played it when it first came out. I played RE2. played RE3. I played all of them. Except for seven and six. Six is stupid, but I know him. I know him very well. So there you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. I know, and I know the universe. Monsters get you. I know the characters. I know what happened. I'm a fan of Resident Evil. I grew up with it. It's a bathroom. Privacy. Turn the water on. Vacation, strict regimen of blah, 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 blah. Just making sure it's locked. The one thing that's cool about doing a playthrough of your own, so watching someone else is you, they, you can obviously check things. There was something I was watching Jack play earlier. And I was like, oh, oh, check over there. Oh, check over there. Oh, check behind there. And 
there's so many things that I would have checked that I know he didn't check. And I'm just like screaming internally. I'm like, no, check over there, darn it. What's that there? So, not sure people doing the same thing I mean. They're like, oh man, check over there. I noticed something over there. Okay. A little weird. So all it's all it's on in Europe. Mom got you another new book? It's ABCs. Reading's important. Boring, but it's important. I can take it apart. I'll probably come back here eventually. There's little dots on there. It looks like I can play. Three years ago. I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. It's all a old. Yeah, so I like jazz. Jazz is pretty good. I, I like jazz personally. Is she okay? No. Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Hmm. <laughs> That smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here. Military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> Mia, get down! Mia! Hi, Mia. Mia. Oh, God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Secure, sir. Take him away. I said, get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Ow. Rose. Get him out. Hey doc. hey, doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'm liking the community talk you have done. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. 
She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I, I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's going to be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan. You matter. You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. I don't think Mia's the real Mia. That's why she got shot. Personally. Chris Redfield and Rose. Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off my uh, uh, Fuck. Uh, what the hell happened here? Uh, All right, we can play again. Mission objective, eliminate target, cover body. Cure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. With the two Winterses, that you see for further investigation. So there's two transport officers to accompany them. Now I find it interesting they never mentioned Mia. They said to, to kill her, but they didn't mention her, but they said eliminate target, cover body. They never said I actually eliminate Mia Winters. I've been speculating since everything happened that Mia wasn't Mia. That's just my guess though. It was pretty good, I mean, for being an Xbox One game, this is really nice. But the graphics are on par with, with the PS5, so... That's the thing, too, like... The system can only, like, do things maybe a little faster and more proficiently, but graphics-wise, we're kind of at the peak right now of, uh... What we can do as society. We're kind of... Oh, it's barbed wire you his hand on, okay. Games can may run better, but in terms of looking better, we're kind of where we're gonna be. So, if you think that maybe buying a different system is going to make games look better, eh, well, in some minor ways, but nothing, nothing amazing. Yeah, burb. I find myself like marching through the woods. Oh, hi there, bird. How are you? This kind of how uh, that was alive. I have a RE7 open, not the same way, but it had something like, similar. Yeah. And tomorrow's gonna suck. So we come into nothing being done. I probably can't go on break, but you know. 
all that. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a good day off. Did laundry, went to Walmart. <laughs> Nothing amazing. Crash. Hobo camp. That was work. Oh, really? How'd that go? No running water. Dead plants. Someone has been here for a long time. Well, that's good. Very simple surviving out here. They have uh, yeah, canned supplies where they're pickling things. Why? Yeah. I guess they were sick. We got either eye drops or a nasal spray, uh, got a medication, like a vial of medication, obviously pills, cigarettes, coffee, had a cold or a headache or whatever. What did uh, Rihanna go through? Did she had a horrible day? Medication in there. That feels like uh, that's a phobia a little bit. Where are you? Here. <laughs> that same kind of feeling. It's funny. Lantern down his lips. Hey there, Foxel. He's wearing jeans with her, her pants dried. Was Pam there? Wearing jeans are hard pants right now, which I don't understand. I mean, that's ridiculous. I was a rat around on that same plant from upstairs. Or garlic. Someone was thinking vampires. Gross, huh? The people in a war made her mad. Good thing with that. Why? What happened with that? I need to explain it more tomorrow, but it's like. <gasps> Not wood! But what happened that uh, not working when we I mean
that she was there, but she was doing trash and linen. She was doing something else, which is dumb because trash and linen is supposed to take priority over doing floors or anything else. But Mike told me. Yeah, it's fine. Not going back that way. Eh? He was getting the trash in there, and the people were coming with trash. Told them to wait a moment until she moved the roller out, and then she would take the trash. Okay, get it to a point. You carry it by hand and you just take it all with you and you crush the lid down and you make room. And I've had that happen, so it's like you, you make do. I've had the same thing happen, I'll take it out because you're you're running behind and you gotta take it out and it's and you just you make I have no clue where I'm going. As soon as as soon as you move they put trash. Eh I get no point I get it too because they're in a hurry too. They can't wait on someone to to do their job. Like if she wasn't falling behind, it wouldn't have been an issue, period. I mean, if I told that to Mike, I would have been like, you'd be like, well, you shouldn't have gotten mad. Is I'm going back upstairs. I don't see anything down here. At least I had to help her. Ah, I'll go back to the okay. Yeah. What did all this? Uh meteorite. The rogue meteorite crashed through. That doesn't sound cold or anything, but she wanted this. She wanted everything with the shop. She wanted to do everything. This is what everything entails. I told her, I told her day one, you have to be fast. Can't be dawdling around, hoping someone else is going to do things for you. I don't know, man. At least someone did. I thought that you said this morning that. Oh. And I'll do it. I mean, I've been. Where the hell am I? Eh, you're in Romania, probably. I mean, when I do supplies on Mondays, that puts me a good half an hour, 40 minutes behind. I make do, so. 
Man, no, she's not as good as me. Not to, you know, not to be all like, oh, she's not as good as me. But I mean, like, again, if you were to work fast, you know? Very uh, Bloodborne inspired, definitely. But she came in late or she was late. <sighs> By the way, she was late getting there because she her car had an issue or she had things to do at home or did she come in at a later time? They did because they were supposed to come in at, at 10 and not, yeah, you know, like. Yeah, it's a dead horse. Yeah. Almost coming out. All the slaughtered horse dropped their eggs. Weird. Maybe maybe they're out? Oh, they're out all right, out of lives. You said this morning there was no other to trash the linens. I I'll probably still gonna get into a mess tomorrow in all fairness. I re I always expect to. That doesn't look right. It does look like fluff. It's very pixelated looking. I mean, it look like, like, like it's torn, but it's it's not quite doing it. Big carn of orange juice. He's a loo, man. Not for a whole family. And then some. <laughs> Go ahead. Beep, beep, beep. Definitely very much reminds me of uh, uh, Resident Evil 4. That same kind of feeling. That took place in that village too, and also in Europe. But if we can beat this, um, we'll definitely check out um, RE7. We need to play that. I don't know. Ever since she's came along, everything's been so messed up. Now I feel I'm getting lied to with everything, and, and things are just so screwed up, it's ridiculous there. I, I don't know what the hell they're thinking. Like usually in a job, it's multiple people screwing things up. This is feels like one person. I'm not saying it's Rihanna. I just feel like Mike's just got his hands lower the dang place. 
What happened? Well, if I had to guess, either it's a trap to lure in the things we're hunting in this village, or it's to ward off evil. Because in the old countries, people are superstitious like that, and they believe in hokey pokey things like that to, to ward off evil spirits and demons and such. Oh, man. Not do the missing homeowner. Okay. Kniff. That's a rusty kniff. Ha! <laughs> well used knife with a large blade. No, it's like it's like a kitchen knife, like a, like a, like, a, like, a, like a butcher's knife. I thought it was like a, I thought it was like a pocket knife. No, it's the natural knife knife. Yeah, it's like it's like a hunting knife. Did they just run out of a house? Let's go taste it and find out how long it's been sitting there. That's just shadows. Oh, it's like things floating in it. Now this right here is very reminiscent of uh, RE7 walking into the house and finding it in ruins like this. Man. Medicine that fully heals all wounds, closes gash and ass leg, a clotting agent, a restoring function to damage system. Really? Cure clue. disinfection. What is it made of? 100% alcohol. <laughs> Now these boxes are reminiscent of also R seven. Shit. Where? That's snow. Friendly, who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road. And... What's going on? Oh no! They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No. Why would I? Take it! Take it! Help me this out, bro. Hey, are you 
listening? Hey! Bye, dude. See you later. What the? Shit! Yeah, he's fine. Dead body? No, it's a live body. What about Ethan? Wait, there's more. Oh yeah, so there is. One past you. Bam. Didn't mean to do that. Want to do that? Man. Jesus Christ. No, I don't think that's him. What the hell is wrong with this place? <laughs> Another one best dust. Fingers. Can I have those back, please? Shit. Yeah, it's like a finger what and a half. Fuck was that? Die. No. Really? I was trying to heal, dude. What the hell? That ammo. Think about ammo. Yeah, I only have six shots. Anything back in here, I guess. Bolt cutters. M fluid. Okay, I can use it to make first aid stuff. Herb. More ammo.
Yeah, it's lovely. Weird so far. Got many ammo, so that's cool. Interesting. It's not what I'm talking much. I'm just like really into what's going on here. Very weird. This is why I wanted to play the game myself. I wanted to see. I wanted to see it for myself. I wanted to experience it for myself. Gosh darn it. Radio. What's going on with that? Radio. Ah, sweet. That's eh, fine. That'll hold him. Hey. And blood. You mind? They're uh, breaking that down, aren't they? It's never over. Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my... to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? I stub up a hand.
It's gonna be oddly confusing. Now here's them. Hi there. Okay, damn it. Okay. Hold on a second. I'm a little bit hurt. I can make some uh, stuff. I need a uh, rusted scrap to make more ammo. Out of cover. More handgun ammo. Like that, did you? There's no end to them. That's fine.
Then you're not supposed to go. Ah, uh, first death of many. Oh, we're back here. Is it over? Never over. Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my to Louisa's house near the field. Survivors? Might be uh but it's on casual in a bit here. <laughs> I just want to experience the game. I want to have fun with it. But dying left and right. And they're coming from behind me, too. There's no end to them. Oh, boy, they found my happy hole. Get that. I'm bad at this game. Stab you. I'll stab you. Ha ha. You don't get out of that, do you? Ow, my arm. Step back. And. Killed him with the stabbies. I'm gonna die though. Oh, 
And I'm dead. Stabbies in here. We got stabbies. Stop nibbling on me. I don't like the nibbles. Ooh, I one shot them tonight. Did I make it? I think I made it. St. Nick there. better it's a, it's a shaman I gave him the stabbies Stabby. <laughs> Okay, I don't look right for anything I might have missed, which is everything. Now there aren't terrifying creatures that want to bring my skin apart. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't think I'd get through that part. I won't go that way yet. Where was the house I was in before? I know there's bolts in there I mixed this time. House. Yeah, there was just now. Where Jowl St. Nick came through. Oh, they closed it off. Not back through here. Where I found the gun, all the where the guy was. Left from here. Look around here. 
Yeah, on the roof. I went up. Yeah, I went through here. Okay. Just out here, some ammo in it. I got the first time. Yeah, here it is. But I missed the second time around. I was in a hurry not to die this time, so I was kind of not paying attention. There's a lot of handgun ammo in here. some doors. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose, yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? Bell heralds danger. They're coming. <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Rose is here? Thanks, lady. Big help. All right. Hopefully, I can find a save point soon. We're kind of over our time here. Not that I overly care. It's just I want to be able to end it soon. And blood. A great lichen, field monster, wolves of old. And they come eat our flesh when they come rip us apart. I know liking the lichens. <laughs> Get it? Liking the lichens. <laughs> Clever. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got a knife. Is that? Use the knife. Easy to open to pick a lock. Use the knife. Pop the lock out. There you go. Problem solved. We're gonna go swift kick. It's so easy to open. Oh, murder. You are here. There's time to go tie there. Crystal flag man. Hmm. 
Apart from your side. Ground Super Cemetery. Other than there, but I can't get it right now. It's pretty neat so far. I'm horrible at it, but it's neat. You offer these goods of warding to protect the village and its people. And you'll break them, shall feel Mother Miranda's wrath. Go to the work, everybody's dead. Okay. The metal to make more ammo. That's a lot. I guess there's something in the uh, bottom of the well, some kind of item. That auto saves, uh, auto saving and manually saving are two different things to me. I didn't know that my, my game saved before I walk away from it. All those things are good when you are worried about, you know, did I just save last when I die? How far am I being set back? But. Did I want that? It's uh, Mary and Jesus. Jesus. There's out there. There's a treasure, I guess. That's her fall upon the village, she got the crest. Wasn't well, the care of the church, other is at Louise's house. Jeez Louise. Hey, tap raider, all right. All right, we are all, yes, want to make sure. Okay, we are all saved up. That took a while to do. Um, horrible start so far, but we're getting there. Um, it's interesting so far. I'm enjoying it. It's definitely different. And, uh, I'm glad, glad I got it. And we were, uh, we're about an hour and a half over. Well, we're half, almost half an hour over, so I meant. All right. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow night. It's like Friday. Tomorrow night. 7 p.m. as always. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Have a good one.